Hello, this is the wire shooting combo that you just received and in the next few minutes I'm going to explain you how this machine works, how to use them and what is all the functions on these. And we're going to start with a heater, shooter and then the last bit is going to be slaughter and we're going to try to do all these things together. This is the heater and this is the one of the most important parts of the wire shooting. If you want to turn it on, here in the back you have an EEC connector, you can just plug this in the main, plug it in and turn it on and the light should be red. You have a main function is you're gonna place your material here, clamp it down, wait for a few seconds, open it and place it in a shooter. So the main thing that you need to first adjust is based on your material. So this is for example, 30 millimeter material. And here you have adjustability for the different width. So now you can go from 20 millimeter up to a 50 millimeter width of material. So now we set it up for 30 millimeter material and it should nicely slide in. Second thing you need to adjust is when you clamp the material down, it should be holding tight. So it shouldn't be sliding out. So for that, here you have adjustments of the end stop. So you make sure that there is a little bit of gap. And when you heat up the material, you're gonna clamp it all the way down. And just make sure when you remove the material and place it in a shooter, the warm part is here, not here. So when you remove it, you're going to place it like this in a shooter. We're going to try to set up now the temperature. So we're going to plug the machine in, turn it on. And here on the front, you have the button that is starting the heating. So if you press it, you should see the screens are now on. And on the bottom, you have the green uh, number is the target temperature. So here the top heating and the bottom will start heating on this temperature and the red one is the current temperature. So the green one and the red one should be exactly the same. It takes about four or five minutes to heat up on the right temperature. When we have the right temperatures, I'm going to place this inside and show you how it's supposed to look like when the temperature of the material is correct. This machine can shoot two types of wires. The one is the flat wire or the wire with the hinge. Uh, important part of uh, before you start shooting the wires is changing how these wires are clamped down. So here you have part that needs to be removed. You can remove this part and this part is for the flat wire. So when you clamp this down, it will push it straight like this. But if you are shooting the wire with the hinge, you need to place this inside. So when you're shooting the wire, it goes inside of the 3D print. If you're shooting these wires, you just need to choose the right size and then place it here and tighten it with the screws. Important part here or features of the machine is that you can replace the guide for the wires. We have here installed a guide for the five millimeter. So you can see it fits five millimeter and you can replace it for 3.5 millimeter. So the first thing that if you want to replace it, make sure that the machine is cold and the heating is not on. Then you need three millimeter spanner, uh, Allen key, and you need to loosen these six bolts here. Now all these six screws are loose. So this is moving a little bit. So the easiest way how to remove it is give it a little bit of nudge and you can pull this out. And then we can take another one. Here there is an end stop. And we can take it from here, push it back, and you can back tighten the screws. Now everything is set up. You have the correct width for the acetate. You set up your height of the clamping system. You have the right guide for the wire. And now we're gonna plug it in and I'm gonna show you how the button works. We're gonna turn on the machine. Plug it back in, turn it on. You should start hearing the fans in the back. So now you can see that here you have the green button and you have a two buttons for the left and right. The green button is a dead man switch. So it's safety percussion that when you, you cannot just press the arrows and move this head left and right without pressing this. So your bolt hand needs to be engaged. Now we're gonna place the wire inside. Here we have a toggle clamp to move it up and down the wire pusher. So we're going to push it down. We're going to hold the button, the dead man switch, and we're going to hold the arrow to left. <laughs> and we're going to hold the arrow to left. And it's going to push it all the way in. 
I need to move this handle up. Then again, the dead man switch. And you can go back. So it's, it's gonna, like uh, here, you cannot see the switches, but on your machine, it wouldn't work. So if you're in a top position, it shouldn't work. You shouldn't be able to push it. You should be able to do it only when you press it down. And the same thing for the backwards movement. And this is about the movement. And now the heating is the same thing as on a heater machine. So you're going to press this button. You can see the green temperature and the current temperature. If you want to change the temperature, you just press button set. And you can see that the last digit is now blinking. And you have the arrows up and down. So you can increase the temperature. And if you want to change the second digit, you just press arrow right. And you can go higher or lower. And if you like the temperature now, you can press set and it's going to be your new target temperature. With a wire shooter, I wouldn't re recommend to go more than 180 degrees. It's like a, the ideal temperature. Don't go higher or lower. With a heater, it's going to be around 145 degrees. And it's already preset when you receive the machine. This is the last part of the wire shooting. This is the tool that is going to help you to cut a little slot on the material so you can shoot the wires with the hinges. So basically what you need to do is cut a little hole here to make sure when you're shooting the wire, the wire goes nicely into the pocket. So you can see here, you need to measure your hinge first and cut the pocket a little bit smaller than the hinge itself. So it has a nice tight fit. And for this purpose, we're going to use our shaper. And this goes here on the back, which is going to slide it on a, a right tool. The one is moving up and down. Then you're going to make sure that the tool is in the center based on, the, on your cutter. And here on the back, you're going to tighten it in a position. So it sit tight. And here you can now adjust the position of the of these guides. We're going to use again 30 millimeter materials. So I have it already set up for the 30 millimeter. And we can, and the only last bit that you need to do is adjust how deep you're going to cut your groove. So this is the basic end stop. So it will show you like a, how far it's cutting. So we're going to try with a little less. And then we're going to set up the height of the tool. You can see now that the tool is much higher than the material. We need to cut only about the half thickness of the material. So we're going to move it lower, like this. I'm just going, let's say, half of the material now. So now we have everything set up so you now know how to use the heater how to use the shooter we have the material here prepared we're going to start shooting with the wires without the hinges so the first step is i'm going to place the material in a heater make sure that you have the correct temperatures that the green are matching the red ones and you clamp it all the way down just make sure that the material is not moving and now quickly we're going to take the wire and place it in a guide here. And you can push this down and wait now. And we set up a timer for 50 seconds. A good time to for the first shooting. If you don't know if the material is what, what temperature it needs, in a 50 seconds, you should normally see that if it's a good or bad temperature. So if the time was too low, it means that the wire is going to have the problem to go all the way in. If the time is too, uh, too long for this material, what's going to happen, the wire is going to bend in the middle. So now the timer is finished. So I'm going to stop the timer, open the heater, and you can see the material it should be soft. And the most important part is you should be able to bend it like this. So basically the center of the material is warm. I'm going to take the material and with the warm part, I'm going to place it like this here and then set up the end stop so it wouldn't slide when I press pressing the wire, pushing it down, hold the dead man switch, hold the arrow and the wire should go in. Then move the handle up, dead man switch, the other arrow and I can remove the material. And you should have the 
perfectly straight wire. Now I was lucky because it's perfectly straight in uh, 50 seconds, but sometimes you need to play with the time a little bit to figure out what is the perfect time for each color. So in general, the transparent colors need a little bit more time. The darker color needs a little bit less time because of the amount of pigment. And if you want to have the best results, sometimes you have a little bit of bulging on the top of the acetate. So it's not perfectly flat. So you can use your press and right after you remove it from the shooter, just put it immediately into the press. Uh, if you have any problems or questions or the machine is, doesn't work the, your, how you want it, just don't hesitate and contact us and we're going to help you with this.